So I'm not much of one for gossip, but I heard you had some bad luck right before moving here. In small town and all. Yeah, I guess you could say that. I lost my job, and my fiancé, and then my lease didn't get renewed. Oof, that is a bad run. Well, hopefully your luck will turn around now that you're here. Mine sure has. Fair warning, Mom might try to overload you with food. Feeding people is, well, like her love language. Oh, I meant to ask you, have you met Parker the Carpenter yet? He really helped turn the ruins of the old church into a wonderful new consciousness center for our members. Hey there, kitty.
I hope you get the chance to reconnect with Lena. The two of you had so much fun when you were little. Oh, I remember. Oh, well, except that one time when one of her chickens nearly pecked all of the feathers off of one of ours. Oh, that's right. Nasty little bird bully. Well, I made him into Coca Van. After he died of natural causes. Anyway, Lena won't say much about it, but I think she and Parker are having some difficulties. I'm sure she could use a good friend right now. It will be good to have the garden in full bloom again. Thomas, I've got some green beans for you. Grandma said you needed them to make an order. Oh, she did? Huh. Well, thank you. That will be a help. Stay there a moment. I got something for you. Uh, hello? Who are you? What's it? You can see me? Well, yeah, you're standing right there. Oh, it's just m most... Humans don't take much notice of me. My family and Thomas's family got a long history. I like to help out where I can. I do too, I guess. Well, you must be a good witch then. <laughs> Wait, how did you know I was... Where did she go? Where did who go? Um, the cat. You know, the, the stray? Right. Well, here's something for helping me out. It's not much, but it's what I have. Thanks, Thomas.
Ah, oh, man, how am I supposed to pay these new fees? What's wrong, Damon? Mayor Salt on Business just signed a new rule saying I've got to pay for a new license just to keep my bar open. And he only gave me a few weeks to pay up. That doesn't seem very fair. Yeah, I'm not giving up the bar. I promised my mom and pa I'd keep it going when they left, and I have. I know. I have a happy hour promotion. Free order of fries for every customer who comes in between 6 and 8. Except I don't have potatoes. Hey, do you have some? I could grow you some. Really? That would be awesome! People love free chow. This place is gonna be lit! Hey there, new girl. Pass a message to Hazel for me? As long as it's appropriate. Tell her that during my last shift, I didn't break a single glass. What? It's been a goal for a long time. Is it time for bed? Watering can is already full. You seem very cosmopolitan. Uh, Amira or, or, or Dr. Syed? Oh, gosh. Amira is fine. 
There's no need for formalities in a town with one restaurant. Fairhaven is by far the smallest place I've ever lived. But I've adjusted, and so will you. This location is great for foot traffic, but brah, the sp I asked Violet if I should help her out in the store, and she got all offended. The store is like her thing, I guess. Plus, she said I had to focus on school so I could get into a good college. But pro skateboarders don't need college degrees. Lena's been on me to make kids quit pranking everyone. They rigged the door to the town hall to rain glitter on Otto's head when he turned the handle. <laughs> I mean, you've got to appreciate the engineering skills that took. Am I right? Ugh. What's wrong, Natalia? The twins put bath bombs in my slack tub. Again. I just finished cleaning it out from the last time. you a question, Cameron? What happened to the church that used to be located where the Consciousness Center stands? You know, I never really asked. I get the sense that when the mine closed, a lot of workers moved off the island. Without much of a congregation, there was no one to pay tithes for its maintenance. But past misfortunes can lead to new beginnings. That's what I believe. ever been successful at making a match? Why? Are you interested in her services? Oh, she'll be loath to resist! <laughs> Angus! Seriously. Has she? <laughs> nope, not, not even once. Great!
So, did your babysitting experience prepare you for twins? <laughs> oh, Tara, nothing prepares you for twins. At least they're not toddlers anymore. They don't try to put everything that's not nailed down in their mouths. It will be good to have... When you finish your lunch, can we get back to incantations? No, no, these aren't for lunch. You need to make some nice black ink, and squid ink is the best. Uh, you could have said so. I just did. Now, you'll need a desk. Set it up in your sanctum. Ah, that's your basement. You wouldn't want anyone to happen on your half-written incantations. Once you've got your ink, there's a couple more things you'll need. Come back here, and I'll give them to you.
I'm not one to mind rules. But you should keep away from the Standing Stones. You're not ready for that yet. some food to recover some strength. Am I ready for bed?
My watering can is already full. Has Damon hit on you? Or have you not met him? I, um... Uh, you're new and cute, so it won't be long if he hasn't yet. <laughs> Did the bees make any honey yet? No, but they're working on it. I think? It, it's hard to tell. Make sure you give them lots of flowers. A good variety helps too. Is it time for bed?
So when did you and grandma start trying to outbake each other? We'd appreciated each other's skills ever since I moved here. That was, what, 17 years ago. But when Giacomo was diagnosed, Hazel formally challenged me to a bake-off. She said it'd take my mind off things. And you know, she was right. Sorry, I'm still not used to being around this much pollen. Triggers my allergies. Don't go blaming the trees. They didn't knock you out of balance. Huh? Don't worry. You'll be set right soon enough. <laughs> 